Hi, I'm Jason Lutz with Honeywell Security, and I'm going to show you how simple it is to install the Lyric All-in-One Control Panel, the LCP500, from the control panel using the AlarmNet360 app only. Now, I've gone ahead and hung all of our devices, so we've got a front door contact, we've got a side door contact, we've got a back door contact, we've got a motion detector here in the hall, I've got a glass break detector up in our front foyer, six smoke detector, and six heat detector, a combination 5800 combo smoke and CO. We've got all of our information right here in front of us. We've got the customer's information, we've got the total connect information, and we've got our zone list. So we'll do everything from right here. So we're gonna log into AlarmNet 360. We're gonna click on new account. Now, once we're at the new account screen, then we're going to go ahead and enter in all of our customer data. We also have a location dealer reference ID in the note section. That's really just for your own personal use. Select panel type. This is gonna be a Lyric controller. It's gonna ask for our Mac ID and our CRC number. I've taken that off the box already just to save a little bit of time. Remember, they all start with 00D02D, and then you enter in the last uh, six numbers there. And then our CRC number, account number, we're gonna get that from our central station or from the office. You get a city code, a central station ID, and then the account number. And then we hit next. It's going to go out. It comes back and it tells us that our communicator has been verified successfully. One of the things that we can do with the Lyric to speed up installation times is a lot of our systems may be very similar. So we can create separate templates. We can create a template that's three doors, a motion, and a key fob. We can create a template that's ten doors, and a motion, and a key fob, and a secondary keypad. Um, the basic information, entry, exit, delays, uh, what reporting stuff that we want, um, event log information, that's pretty similar on all of our installations. So we can save all those as a template. And that way we can just reuse it over. We don't have to enter all that data every time. So we're going to use the current default template. We're going to set our supervision up for monthly supervision. Um, you'll notice here that Advanced Protection Logic is already enabled. We now offer Advanced Protection Logic standard in the Lyric ecosystem of products. You don't have to turn it on or turn it off. Two-way voice. Do we want to offer two-way voice? Do we want to offer video alarm verification for MyView now? And then also Lyric Lock. Lyric Lock is our patented feature that allows you to not only lock the Lyric down, but actually lock all of the wireless six devices to the control panel really prevents takeovers, really makes your accounts a little more safe and secure. Do we want to add Total Connect? Well, absolutely. We should be selling Total Connect on 100% of our installations. The customer wants a connected lifestyle. Shouldn't be an option anymore. So enable Total Connect. This is going to be a new Total Connect account. Our information is here. Lyric Demo Movie. Do we want to do our master code? Yes. Master code one, two, three, four. We'll leave all of our times and stuff the same and we'll hit the next button. Our next step is our additional services that we offer. So we've got a handful of additional services. The first one is information services. You get standard one day weather on the Lyric. Do you want to offer five day weather? Let's go ahead and offer five day weather. Home automation. Home automation really shouldn't be an option anymore today. Our new consumer, they want a connected lifestyle. They may not purchase any Z-Wave devices today, but they probably will in the future. They may buy them from you or they may buy them from their local big box retailer, but we should be activating the systems for Z-Wave now. Advertising services. Do you want to be able to push notifications and push messages to the control panel screen? And then also the video doorbell. You can set your SkyBell up through the Total Connect app. Today, we're not going to do a SkyBell though. Next. For our Total Connect notifications, um, what we've done is we've gone out, we've asked consumers, what are the most important things to you? And we've asked alarm dealers, you know, what are the most important things that you're using? And we've created those already in the app. So you can just check boxes 
and they are the push notifications are already pushed out to the panel so your homeowner doesn't have to set them up now we see here that the homeowner on the work order would like to get text notifications on alarms and troubles so we're going to do sensor alarm and sensor other finish now the customer is going to get notifications on sensor alarms and sensor troubles to the email address he provided view account information when we view account information it's going to give us really just an overview of everything that we've typed in it's going to show us what we did just really to kind of make sure everything's correct one of the things that it's telling us here we have a trouble code is that the account currently is inactive well yes it's inactive because we haven't activated it yet but we're going to do that next we can kind of look through here we can see that everything is good everything appears to be good everything appears to be what we want so what we want to do is then just click register panel now I've already wired it up and already powered it up currently have it hanging all we're going to do at that point is take it hang it on the wall once we're in there then it's real simple we just want to go to security tools our user our master code one two three four wi-fi configuration from the wi-fi configuration we can do really one of two things we can do wps hit our button here and then go over and hit the wps on our router or we can do scan access points just like you would do at your local starbucks and it's going to pop up and we see our wi-fi networks we're going to connect to my home network edit password and we're going to type in my password which for today is just my cell phone number and save and then join it's going to go out there you can see it's making a connection to my wi-fi and it's going to connect this up should come back here in a just a few seconds and tell us that it's connected. Device has been successfully added to the network. Okay. We'll go home. We can go backwards or we can just hit the home button and go home. The next thing we want to do is actually program the Lyric. I like to connect it to the Wi-Fi first. We have our radio installed as well. Security. Tools. 4112, which is our programming. And new panel association now this is going to connect out to the alarm net server and it's going to pull all the information in it's associating with the alarm net 360 account currently that we already created it's checking online for a current panel configuration one of the things that's really important when you're sitting on the lyric is you really want to get on the customer's wi-fi you're always going to have a much quicker experience and a much cleaner experience when you go Wi-Fi primary and back it up over cellular. So what you're going to want to do is be sure when you're getting your paperwork that you ask Mr. and Mrs. Jones what's your username, what's your password, or where's your router at and verify that it's a WPS, WPS enabled router. Um, we have associated everything in. We're ready to go. The system has now downloaded everything from the panel. At that point, we're now going to just go back to our app. Everything that we've created is now in the Lyric, that quick and that simple. And you'll notice we now have an active light. So now what we want to do is we're going to scroll down here to Zones, the sensors. We're going to click on the Add Sensor Signal, Learn New Sensor. When you first hit Connect, it'll take about 30 to 45 seconds for the first sensor. Now, one of the things that we have is now called persistent connection, and that'll leave the app logged in so we can just keep going around to each different device. So we've put our panel into learn mode. What we're gonna do now is walk around to each one of our devices and learn them in. So we'll open our front door. Now this is a 5800 device, so we're gonna wanna open it twice. The legacy 5800 series devices need two trips. If you'll notice now we have sensor type 5800 series there's our serial number we're going to accept it and we're going to call that the front door and we're going to save and add another what we're going to do now is walk over to our garage door we're going to trip our garage door now this one is an f6 device so it's going to transmit all the information for us 
there's our serial number. We're going to accept it. We're going to call that the, uh, the side door. What we're going to do now is we're going to trip our back door contact. So we're just going to open our back door. We'll close our back door. We're going to get a transmit signal. We'll open the back door again, let the dog in. And we've got a connection. There's our serial number. We accept it. We'll call that the back door. So now I'm going to do the motion detector. Now one of the things, I've already powered up the motion detector and we're still in the initial power up phase. So now we automatically learn our sensor in. There's our serial number. We accept it, living room, and we're going to save and add another. Sensor saved successfully. What I want to do now is go into our hall here and I want to trip our smoke detector. We'll pop the smoke detector off the wall. If we had just pulled the battery tab, we would just pull the battery tab, twist it back on. Smoke sensor learned, accept. We're going to call this a smoke detector. We're going to call it the Hall smoke detector and we're going to hit save. One of the things we also have to do from here is we're going to trip it again. Pop it off the wall, put it back up on the wall, get a transmit signal. One of the things about doing it twice on the smoke detector, we'll accept it and we're going to change it from smoke detector to heat sensor. That allows us to have two separate zones, one for smoke and one for heat. And we're going to hit save. What we're going to do next, we're going to do our glass break detector. Pop it off, hit the tamper. That's going to put us into the learn mode. Accept. And we save. So the last thing I want to do is I want to learn in a siren. The Lyric does offer a full two-way siren. Um, I've already mounted it. So we'll pop it off the wall, give it a second. It will learn a signal in there, accept, and we're done. We're going to call this living room siren, and we're going to hit save. The last device I want to program in is really just a secondary keypad. So what I've done is I've gone back to the home screen. I see here sensors, key fobs, keypads. I want to click on keypad, hit the plus sign there, learn keypad. Again, it's going to take about 30 to 45 seconds to go into the, the learn mode and then we'll initiate a learn and we'll be ready to go. We're currently in the learn mode. Um, press any key. Wait for a reset. Currently pairing with the system right now. Six keypad paired. Accept. Save. And we are done adding sensors. The only other thing we want to do from the app is really go through and just make sure everything else is good to go. All of our, uh, our settings and our uh, user information. So we'll go to settings. We can go to our communicators already installed. We go to our system settings. Um, we've got Z-Wave support. We've got uh, daylight savings time set. All of our basic information. You'll find that the the generic templates, the defaults, are pretty standard for what everybody in the industry is using. But again, if, if you have something different, create a template. It's quick and easy and, and we'll, we'll make it more efficient. Um, in the area section, that's where we're, do we need to adjust our time delay? Is our door too far away from the keypad? We'll adjust our quick arm. Do we want to enable quick arm? Do we want to enable door chime? Uh, auto stay arming. Once we have all that stuff and we're, we're happy with what we've got, then what we're gonna to wanna to do is go back to the main home screen. And in the top right hand corner there, we just wanna click the sync. We wanna sync our changes and start sync. And what we're doing now is we're pushing all of the changes that we've created into the app, into the cloud, into the Lyric system, and completely programming the panel. Our data is all synced successfully. We can go back to our account overview if we choose to, or we can log out. We're done. The system is online. We're ready to put our account on test with our central station, arm the system up, and go around and test all of our doors and our motions and our glass breaks and our smoke detector and send all of our signals. The last thing we want to do at our installation is really go to the My Home app. And this is going to walk us through really creating a secondary virtual keypad and controller for the Lyric. So it tells us here to hit security. 
tools, master code, one, two, three, four. We want to click on keypad and boom that fast. You'll see that our Mac ID is popped up there and our keypad is learned in. We can exit back home and you'll see everything that we have here, we have on here as well. If we want to use our security, you know, arm away, quick arm, that fast it arms there and it arms at our secondary keypad over there we can also go here security disarm one two three four and it disarms that fast in all of our locations we can control our z-wave devices we can control our lights locks thermostats if we choose to all from the app thank you very much